Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems, and I'm going to show you today how to figure a Corel X5 uh, digital imaging software with your Chromoblast. So this is for Chromoblast users, people who do heat transfer using um, the Chromoblast ICC profile supplied here at Condi, and also your X5 users for Corel. So I'm going to first of all I need to make sure that my ICC profile is configured in the driver um, for X5 so to do that I need to go to my printer folder which was my start and printers and faxes our devices and printers and we're going to demonstrate using the uh, GX3300 I'm going to right click and uh, I want to go to printer properties because I have Windows 7, if you have XP or Vista, you're just going to click Properties. So we want to make sure that the profile is configured in the driver. And I have a video uh, separate from this one on how to configure for Chromoblast using the Ricoh drivers. And uh, in that video, I'll show you how it will show you how to add your ICC profile if you haven't already. So um, this would be like a part two configuration for Chromoblast, uh, but it, it is specific to X5, uh, Corel X5 users. So I want you to make sure that before you configure X5 that uh, your ICC profile is sitting in your color uh, management settings on the driver. So your profile for Chromoblast is going to be the SG underscore GX E3300N underscore CBR underscore RGB underscore V1.0 and that's your Chromoblast ICC profile for uh, people using heat transfer with the Ricoh 3300. Now this will apply for uh, any Chromoblast profile. If it were the 7000 you would do the same thing. So again, just make sure your ICC profile is located under your color management settings uh, from your driver in the printer folder. So once we've verified that's there, we can continue on and set up our X5. So it's there. And um, now I need to open CorelDRAW X5, which I have already opened here. And I'm just going to put something on the page. Okay, it doesn't matter what, we're just going to configure the uh, profile setting for a Chromoblast. So now I'm ready to go to um, File, Print, and all I want to do is get this dialog box open, and I have to have something on the page to do that. So I'm going to choose my printer, which is going to be the 3300, and I want to go to Color. With X5, you have a color tab. It's the second one over. I'm going to choose that. And from here, I'm going to find my uh, Chromoblast profile for my 3300. And I'm going to make sure that's selected here. And uh, rendering intent is going to be perceptual. So I want this page to look like this. Uh, color conversions performed by Corel Draw, and I'm going to go to this issue, and that's that's just something separate. So I'm going to make sure that that wasn't anything uh, needed to address right now. And then uh, pre-press. If I want to mirror my image, this is where I'm going to do it. And there will be uh, some papers you will need to mirror. Make sure you read the instructions for your Chromoblast uh, papers so that you know if you need to mirror or not. The Rico driver will not mirror, so you do have to mirror from the app. And um, again, your color settings are here. Your profile must be there. And then if I want to save it, I can save a custom setting uh, saying uh, something like Condi CHR. And I know that that's a Chromoblast setting. And I'll click Save. OK. And then Apply. And I'm not really going to print right now, but I'm at X out. I do want to make sure that uh, I'm using a color profile that is RGB, and I am. RGB is uh, what we use uh, to calibrate our profiles. Basically, we calibrate profiles using the RGB settings. And uh, again, 
that's how you set up and manage color from Corel X5 using a Chromoblast ICC profile. If you have any questions on how to configure your X5 uh, application for Chromoblast, give us a call here at Condi and uh, go to support and anyone in our department should be able to answer those questions. My name is Vicki. Thank you for your time.